Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> This is the Ideas by Elliot podcast, sponsored by Camera Corner Studios, Yikes Salon, Trisha Nella, and Release Wire. I'm Elliot Christensen, and normally I spend my time working with clients on internet projects, websites, marketing, email, all the stuff they need to get their business found online. This is my chance to take a break and talk in depth with the most interesting people I know. There are no rules, there's no censor, there are no do overs. It's raw, unscripted, and never edited. This is episode number 27. You already know this Green Bay community leader by many other names. He's been called Powder. He's been called Scarlet. He's now best known as Mr. Jeebs. He's our local Green Bay community ambassador for the world-renowned online review service, Yelp. He's, of course, Scott Clark. I'm here with Powder. Powder is okay. I don't know you if that's my real name. I, too. I never know if that's offensive or not. No, uh, it's not. Did you see my little Facebook post? No. And it's like, feel the powder, and there's lightning bolts. No. Makes sense. Nobody else got it either, so <laughs> don't worry about it. So, actually, I'm here with Scott Clark. Yes. Not Stacy Clark, not Kathy Clark. No. Scarlet. The, the, Scar- Scarlet. <laughs> the very masculine and manly. Scott Clark, who is recently involved with a company called Yelp. Yep. Tell me a little bit about Yelp. I'm sure a lot of people know about Yelp. It's a online review site and also app now where people will write reviews about their experiences at local business businesses uh, from wherever they are. So a lot of people will do it when they travel. Um, that's a, obviously a fun time to look up new places to check out, but also it's just as important to be reviewing and talking about the local businesses from the community that you live in. So you are, what's your position with Yelp? Yeah. So my title is called Community Ambassador, which I don't know who came up with it, but I love that title. makes me feel real powerful, even though I don't know how powerful I am. But so I kind of have like a few different roles. One is I'm trying to create a local community of users here in Green Bay, trying to get people to be on the app, on the site, and to be talking about all the neat little businesses around Green Bay. That's part of my job. And then I also help educate businesses that have their business profile. So if you there's a Yelp listing of your business, you can claim that page. And then from there, you ha- you can have a login and you can get some special access. You can say some free tools to see who's checking out your page, seeing the reviews so you can respond to reviews and just kind of see the metric visiting a page. Let's say someone found your phone number through Yelp. You can see how many times that that happens. I'm out there to help the businesses that have questions. Once again, supporting local businesses, I'm not just writing about them, but also kind of partnering with them. So I do some marketing, try to help sponsor events that other organizations are putting on. And then what I'll do for myself too is even host my own events and they will be at some of the really neat, unique businesses here in Green Bay. Have you had any of those yet? I'm still fairly new to the job. Yeah. Run around for a couple months. I didn't get invited. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, not yet. Okay. Well, that's because I really... Awkward. Well, you gotta keep, you gotta keep yelping. You gotta keep, you gotta keep writing, Elliot. Um, seriously, I guess you're saying that you invite people that are engaged in Yelp already or are are not. So I got, I will be doing like a couple kinds of events, I guess you can say. Some of them are really simple laid back. Just like, hey, anybody want to go out and check out this new restaurant? It could just be a group of five of us, which is fine. Uh, So do something like that or like, hey, there's this uh, bar. They're doing uh, Star Wars trivia night because it's May 4th, which I'm actually doing with some other friends. But anyways, uh, so it's just like kind of like really easy hangouts, I guess. And then I'll be putting some official events that are a little more inclusive. I'm inviting just Yelp 
people, I guess. Yeah. Um, especially uh, some of them will be like our Yelp elite and we'll be having fun with whatever event that is that I come up with. And I haven't gotten there yet. So my, most of my, my events, like my first one was like a meet and greet. And we had that at Badger State Brewing Company, which was awesome because it's, it's got a lot of nice space. It was more like a happy hour and it gave people a chance to come meet me since I was, I'm new to the position and Yelp is new with being active here in Green Bay. And that was really cool. So that was super easy, you know, just having a few drinks and talking. So that's like really the main event I've really done. I am working on an event for Craft Beer Week. So kind of doing my own little event during Craft Beer Week, which um, is still I'm working on, but it's going to be pretty cool, I think. Uh, knowing that Yelp has been around for a long time, right? Yeah, it's been around since, uh, I think about like 14 years, I want to say. Okay. Uh, it's been over 10 years. So. It started Twelve years. It started in San Francisco. Correct. Yep, yeah. the headquarters is in San Francisco. A lot of popularity in the West Coast, probably New York, yep. bigger metros, right? Mm-hmm. In your experience, what's been taking off as far as Yelp? in in our area is it craft beer because of you is it craft beer in spite of you or is it other stuff what i learned when i first started what kind of caught yelp's attention about wanting to have someone here uh, in our city was a lot of reviews are coming from people that are traveling and these people that are traveling are generally here for Packer games. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the places that do get attention are some restaurants and obviously breweries. We got like Tidal Town and Hinterland are great examples because they've been around for a, a really long time. And then you got some places, especially even like around the Lambeau district area that get maybe just a little more attention because people are, are around that area. A great example that I ran into was like Curls West. You know, there's two of them in Green Bay, but the one on on the west side near Lambeau has just a lot more reviews. And right. it's because people are just probably general, generally in that area a little more when they're visiting. So, but there is a, a really, I've been finding more and more users here in Green Bay. It's just making them a little more active, consistently using the site and app. Because some people will write two or three reviews in one day, and then they didn't use it for six months. The typical issue with reviews are that people give whatever, uh, you know, whatever the top number is, like a four or five star review yep. or a zero or one star review cause, because they're motivated by some emotional event. Either something was really great or something was really lackluster. Yeah. Right? So it's a one to five star rating. And honestly, probably when you do your reviews, it's the first time you went somewhere. Mm-hmm. And regardless of the business, I think we can all understand and we, experienced it ourselves being a consumer but probably even with the work that you've done service is super important that first time is a lot of times going to be that person's view of how that whole business is going to be so if you go somewhere like say a restaurant the first time and you know your food came cold and it took forever to get the check why would you want to go there again you're going to think that's how it's going to be like all the time and that's not always the case but that first time is really important going to any business if you just give normal good service, I mean, like, I'm I'm happy with that. People don't have to go over the top. But if you deliver what you say you're going to, you're going to get a, po- a positive re- review from me. So Usually reviews are on the extremes. So in your experience, do restaurants in particular, I guess, if there's a three-star review, are they looked down upon? Or is that no, I don't fine? think so. I, I, I don't think so at all. And actually, what, what's amazing is most reviews are actually positive, and that being three uh, stars and plus. So I think it's like 80% of all all reviews on Yelp are positive. There's three star rating above. So I don't think three stars is bad at all. I don't like to say I'm picky, but like to get that five star, there's got to be something that's just like really neat and unique to it that like makes me think like this place is really cool and I need to talk about it all the time. Four is, I, I just think like, that's a, this is a really cool place. And then for three, it's like, I like this place. And it's kind of like average. I, I don't want to say average. They're doing what they're advertising. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. But what makes it a little different from other places? Mm-hmm. And, and like, seriously, like, I, I, I'll tell you this, like, little things excite me, I guess, when it comes to like, what's different. Like, I was at a bar establishment. And they had you. Yeah. Out of all places. <laughs> um and actually, I was in Fond du Lac for a birthday party, and 
a friend noticed, and I thought it was super cool. On the wall, they had walls. They had this really awesome artwork of PBR, and it was just like different kinds of things, like local artists, like from Milwaukee. I saw a few of them and stuff like that. I'm like, that's pretty cool, you know? And like that sticks out to me. Stuff like that. I went to another place. This lady, the owner, loved Elvis. There's stuff of Elvis all over, and it's like that catches my attention. And that's stuff. That's stuff I will talk about, you know. I mean, it's like, yeah, you can get whatever you want to drink there. Same like other places, but like this place is just kind of neat just for that reason. And then a lot of times something simple like that will lead into something else based on conversation I had with someone that works there. Cause, and that goes along with the service. So I was like, oh, this place is really cool. They got all these neat decorations. And then I was talking to the bartender about it. And then we just started talking and really had a good conversation and got treated really well. And it's like, that's what makes an experience and it's not much they're not doing anything really special but it goes a long way when they have something unique that's when you would want to bump it up to a four or five uh, yeah just, uh, that's what i like to say or or like if they if they're doing something well i guess it would be unique but it's like something that no other business around the area really does or does as well i guess so are you allowed to give reviews personally yep anything that that you feel was unique around here that was worth uh, commenting on one way or the other. Okay. I guess I'm going to go back to the bars again. We um, have a lot of them. We do have a lot of them. It's, it's a common thing, right? It's, it's fun to go to a place, hang out with some friends, and to just have a beer and talk and everything. But if you had like some sort of activity, something that distracts you a little bit, or mm-hmm. you know, there's something else that's involved, that's what I always like. like. I went to this one place, and it was on a Sunday afternoon. And they got some cool specials on like old fashions, Bloody Marys, mimosas, which is awesome for a Sunday fun day. Mm-hmm. And they had like a coloring party. They had an artist. She had like, she has her own coloring books and they had pages and you just sat there, drank and colored. That was awesome. Five stars. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Um, there's another place and I probably have talked, I'm, I almost guarantee I talked to you about this, this establishment, but they have rock and roll bingo. Oh yeah. And that is so much fun because I tell people, I think almost every time I bring in someone new, you know, that hasn't done it. I say, don't worry. It's not like you really need to know music. Someone will tell you the answer. You can just go ask people. Like people have gone up and asked me and they're all like, it's real simple music. Like a lot of times it's like oldies, classic rock. They'll do decades. And most of the time I'm actually just like kind of dancing and enjoying myself because it's so much fun. And then I have someone else stamp my card for me. so. So you cheat. I don't cheat. I just have someone else do my work, which is just stamping the stamper. I think you hang out with too many politicians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's just like stuff like that. That's fun. I-, I like going out and having fun. And those are just neat little things besides the usual to do. Like other, a lot of bars do trivia. That's fun. If you have a certain theme or something like that, like a TV show or, or movies, that even brings this other weirder audience because they think they know it. But that's that's just more fun to me. So I just those little things are entertaining and makes me talk, makes me talk about those businesses and probably makes other people talk about it. And then hopefully just that one little thing will make you go to that establishment other days during the week because they probably have other cool things. How would someone go about discovering some of these unique things? You know, obviously, if they know you, you're you're infectious and you're going to tell everybody, right? <laughs> yeah. But, let, you know, let's say they don't know you or maybe, you know, maybe they, they follow your, your postings on Yelp. Yeah. How would someone who doesn't know to do that? Like, how do you think they could use Yelp to, yeah. to find some unique things? Sure. What's going on with Yelp, you can easily search anything that you want. So whatever you're looking for, uh, let's say you're looking for a sushi restaurant. It's really easy to just type in sushi. And based on your area, your location, it'll pop up the closest ones. And, and right there, you can read the re- reviews, see the ratings, and make a judgment from there. One neat little thing, too, uh, it's kind of new that I just started doing and working on. I kind of write a monthly newsletter called The Local Yelp. And I will come up with a theme. And I will highlight some of those businesses that relate to that theme. And, and we'll show, like, pictures and little snippets of reviews that will talk about that. So that's kind of a neat way to find about some places that you might not be as familiar with. That's how, what, how would somebody find that? 
if you go newsletter. like if you go right on like on Yelp.com mm-hmm. because we're in Green Bay, it, it automatically have your default as like Green Bay okay. as your location. But you can choose your location and there's like a section I know uh it should be at the very bottom of the website. It might it should say like weekly Yelp. And if you click oh, on that, yeah. you can find the yep. city. Okay. And Actually, my first one. Oh, it jumps back to San Francisco. Oh, but, but you need to change your location. Well, I did at first. Oh. So I search. Yeah. <laughs> Way to break it, Elliot. That's okay. Um, but actually, I there just, we go. I just yeah, and guess what? That's that's my very first issue, and it just came out today. And the very first one, if you look it up, it's actually just talking about. It's just like. Hey, this is Green Bay. Here are some of the neat businesses. Okay. So there. So on the so website, the there's a little button that says "Get it." Yep. Right off to the right. Yep. Yeah. To, and to then you'll get an email. It. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm on Which it. is cool. It and, wasn't that hard to figure out. <laughs> and then, and then with that, two, what, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Why no, just come right out and say it. <laughs> just saying, I found it really easily. <laughs> Didn't have to ask for help. <laughs> you know, and then along with businesses on that little newsletter, I also will post like three events it is that's that's going on and so that's a way to just find about what events businesses are are holding like i think one of them i put on there which is a really fun event i'm sure a lot of people know about it but it's like celebration to pier or celebrate to pier yeah celebrate to pier during their memorial day Day, that's always that's Mm -hmm. always fun music food that huge space they got a lot of other stuff going cardboard boat races or something like that like people make the boats out of cardboard and then you just see them sink in the water i mean that's just good entertainment i think i've never gone to that because it's memorial weekend and there's oh, always other stuff going people on, always right? have things going yeah, on yeah, yeah i yeah. won't be able to make it this year anyways that's like one way to find out stuff about yeah. things going on through yelp no that's really um, cool me personally and this really helps me out with my job is a lot of neat local organizations they have newsletters I people are like, how do you know about this stuff? I just sign up for newsletters. It's not even like, you know, you do have Facebook and Twitter and that those are great ways to find out about things. It's the newsletters. I feel like I consistently find out about stuff. Downtown Green Bay has the What's Up Downtown. Downtown De Pere has one. The Neville Museum has one. Mosaic Arts. Who else? There's a bunch of them and I just keep signing up for them. But all we really need to do now is subscribe is to, to yours and yeah. then you take all that. Exactly. <laughs> Filter it I, You're down. an aggregator. Yes. I, I do all the hard work for everyone. So nice. Nice. Because I care. So I feel like I know everything you're doing, and I didn't even know that was a thing. So no, I'm, I'm excited, actually, to check that out. Yeah. Because you are on Yelp. I know uh, that. Yeah. I should. Uh, oh, I did change my picture. Yeah. <laughs> I had a crazy picture on there for a while. So, and then, uh, yeah, then actual people I know started adding, you? F- adding me. Then I'm like, oh, I better uh, change Be- Behave. That. Yeah, behave. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to behave. I'm just going to uh, be a little more... Uh, presentable? Ex- presentable. Yeah, accessible. Should we do our camera corner spot? I can do you that. You ready to do that? If you want. Yeah, I That's think, fine. That, I think that, that was a good time. Okay. We're in the awesome camera corner studios. I usually like to just get a quick comment from our guest. Scott didn't know where Camera Corner Studios was. Yeah. Well, and there's not a lot to see here right nope. now either. No, no, so. and I, I wouldn't. I and I don't think that that's a bad thing. Uh, yeah. You know, you only come here if you need to come here. Right. Just needs a little TLC. Right. <laughs> well, that's well, what we're trying to do. And that's, <laughs> so, so what we do is we help with small business marketing or companies like we have a company that's coming in, uh, or I should say an organization that's coming in, and the actual studio room, which we're not in today, is going to be a classroom for them for a series of classes, and then we're going to videotape it, we're going to live stream it to another location so people that can't travel here will be able to see it. Our goal is to be an affordable outlet for companies to come to if they need, be it video or audio recording, you know, the podcasting. We do photography, things like that. It's an extension of our rental department. I'll give you our sheet since you may actually be interested in this kind of thing. We're here to help with whatever you need, whether that's a a video, a podcast, a simple recording, uh, creative services on an affordable budget at Camera Corner Studios, 920-272-0148. I will have to add to that. Uh, Once you have the services from Camera Corner should make a review about it on Yelp and tell them how great of an experience it was. You know, I'm not sure how I should do that. That's a question I should ask you because we are a wholly owned subsidiary of Camera Corner. We're not a separate business at all. We're just mm-hmm. a different building. Mm-hmm. Camera Corner has a Yelp page. 
should the studio, since it's a different address, should I make a separate page for us? That's an interesting question because you certainly could do okay. that. If you feel like there's enough separation, you definitely could create a separate listing for this because actually I did check in and I checked into the other location there. Interesting. But if, if you do feel like it all kind of really ties in together, that mm-hmm. if someone would talk about your services because you are one company, yeah, it almost makes sense though to still, you could still have it at that one Yelp page because you talk about the services, but. Because uh, then it becomes a branding conversation. Yeah. You know, in Camera Corner's branding is, you know, we're a one-stop shop. You can come to us mm-hmm. for IT or you can come to us for your kid's MacBook to take to college. Mm-hmm. You know, you can come to us to buy a studio or you can come to us to rent a studio. So really keeping yeah. it combined might make more sense, but it's a branding decision, yeah. not necessarily a, a Yelp policy. Yeah, I, I guess like one way to look at it too is can the public just come here and show up at no. this location? Yeah, you got to right? have an appointment. Exactly. So yeah. if this was a separate, uh, say you had a separate Yelp listing for here, and one of the things you can do is put your hours. Well, you don't have hours. You're, right. You're just That's by true. appointment. So yeah. would you want people to know, oh, this is where it is, but I tried mm-hmm. to stop by and no one's here, you know? You know, is there a separate way to contact people just for this? But I mean, if it's if you can do it all through the office over there it's yeah it, it's sort of a unique problem because so like in green bay everybody knows across the street right right so, so many people know camera corner but if you have two chipotle locations which i think we have two in green bay i think they each have separate yes Yelp and listings. that makes sense they right. would have separate locations so because mm-hmm. it's a separate location and you do kind of want people to know that it's a thing yeah uh, yeah i would totally have a separate hmm. page it's something we can talk about. Yeah. We separated on Facebook just simply for the fact that people that want to follow the studio probably want to know more things about production. And people that follow the store, I don't know what they want to know about. You know, it's more of a retail push on Facebook and a yep. corporate push on LinkedIn. And, yeah. you know, there's, it's such a big animal. You know, you kind of have to divide. We'll yeah. talk. We'll talk. So, Sounds good. So how much do your services cost, Scott? Free. Like, what are you going to, what do you, no, I mean, what are you going to charge, Nick, to help set up the the listing for Yelp? Nothing. No, no, no. I mean, money <laughs> to yeah. get paid by a business to be listed. I, You're going to help them set up a listing. Yeah. And what's, what are you going to charge them? Nothing. Wow. See, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Beer. We, You're going to charge the, beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to just hang, <laughs> you can, you can hang out? Give me a six pack, I guess. <laughs> No, no, it's no, no. Uh, it, so that's part of what you do. Yeah, and it's, that's it's free. something that I can help out. Okay. Yep, I, I don't handle costs or anything. I'm like, I'm not here to manage Yelp business pages or anything like that. But you but, help them get started. But when they, yeah, when they need assistance and stuff like that, I can walk them through that. And that's so what we just did. That's a legitimate thing. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. The only so thing, you're not going to send me a bill. I didn't mean nope. to make you work on your lunch break. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> this is great. But um, but really, uh, I mean, the only thing that costs money with Yelp is just sales, right? If you want to do advertising and I had nothing to do with that because okay. that doesn't sound as fun to me. Okay. So that's someone else. So somewhere like sponsored else. or promoted mm-hmm. types of things, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like when I did a search for, uh, actually I did a search for Chipotle and two other things came up above Chipotle on the yep. list. And, so, and, and, and that's, that's how we make yeah. money. And, 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 and that's and how other businesses make money. And it's very clearly marked as an ad too. Yeah. So like, uh, yeah, I think that that's, that's pretty cool and legit. What are some other types of businesses that maybe should be involved with Yelp that you so far have been a little bit surprised that have yeah. not? Yeah, it's tough because bars and restaurants get a lot of attention. Yeah. But with Yelp, is we're about every kind of business. So Camera Corner is a great example because of the different services there. You know, people have different reasons that they might need to rent equipment. You know, mm-hmm. they needed sound equipment for a party and stuff. Okay. So, like, were they really helpful? Were they informative? Mm-hmm. Was the equipment that I got to use, um, was it easy to use? Did I not have any problems with it? Those are things that people don't think about. It's probably because they don't do that very often all the time. Like another great example is like an auto shop. I gave this great review. I, I go to this place where I get my oil changed, right? And it's the only thing I've had to do there. It's one of those neat, like uh, like kind of quick and loop places. So it takes like 10 minutes, which is great mm-hmm. if you're on the go. and I reviewed that place and I think it, you know, it probably only has like a handful of reviews, but people don't think about 
those places as much, probably because we don't, we're not always like looking out to go to those places. And that's really important too, because like those guys there uh, at this place. So the reason why I still go there, um, actually, uh, an old job of mine paid for oil changes. That mm-hmm. was one of my fun benefits, right? Okay. Go there, company would pay for it. That's a cool benefit. Yeah. <laughs> so I le- I left that job. But I still went to this place. Why? Because those guys were super nice. They remembered my name. They even remembered where I worked. One time, one of the guys even remembered what I did, too, with my full-time job. And, like, that kind of goes a long way, too. And, like, one time, they did oil change and something they didn't screw on all the way. It was un- un- beneath the car. And it was, like, scraping against the road when I was driving. And I noticed that. And I called. And I go, hey, I was just over there. Can you go look? I hear the scraping. And they knew it was me. When I came driving in, they said, oh, they saw it right away and they were able to fix it. And obviously there was no charge to that. But that was that was huge. Like that was a really good experience for me. Mm-hmm. And the other plus side, they have that quarters machine games when you drop the quarters and then you push them. <laughs> I tell you, like, it's a good thing that that place only takes like 10 minutes because I would be there all day just just playing that quarters quarters game. It's weird. But like, right. think about all those businesses. Uh, hair salons, like where you get your hair cut. I really like the place I get my hair cut. I'm, <laughs> there's not a lot to do. All three. Yeah, there's not a lot All to three cut. Hairs. But, <laughs> you know, I, I have a really good experience and yeah. that's worth, it's worth talking about. Uh, so the difference between like Yelp and some other places is they're more like touristy. Like it's when people just travel, they, they review. Well, we're trying to hit all local businesses. So that includes all different services. It's not just eating and drinking and everything like that. We we want people to talk and share about their experiences about all different kinds of businesses. So Those are two good examples because when you know, when you're traveling you typically aren't getting an oil change, you're not getting mm-hmm. your your hair done, right? Those are sort of the extremes, I guess, in my mind. Mm-hmm. Are there any other businesses like would service businesses want to be in here? I mean, I guess a, a hair hairstylist is a service business. Mm-hmm. I, everything's a service business, I guess. But I guess along the lines of Camera Corner Studios, business services, I guess. Would yeah. business services want to be in here? I think that's important as well because, yeah, it's great to create a, a product or whatever and people get to use that. But yeah, services are just as important. So like I said, say you met this person, you're asking them for their service. Were they helpful? Did they give you the information that you asked for? Did they like respond in a timely manner? Say they needed to follow up with you. Because let's say like I called these guys. I had to leave a message. Um, I actually called two times after that. And they got back to me one time and said, oh, I need to talk to someone else. I mean, that kind of stinks right there. Services are, are important. Like I've even seen a couple of people, a uh, guy I know, he's a real estate agent broker, and he made his own listing. They go off of referrals and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. If, mm-hmm. say, like, you just bought a house and I'm looking for one, right. you're like, hey, I had this great experience with this mm-hmm. this realtor, right? Word of mouth is so important. And I right. like to say Yelp is kind of like word of mouth in that digital format there. Yeah. Say I don't know you and I see your your review and it was like you really talked about your experience. You're not just saying, hey, so-and-so is really great and awesome. Is that helpful? Okay, they're great, but I don't know why. But say you, you kind of like detail like what happened through your experience. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this guy sounds like really awesome. Well, he was very helpful. I'm going to give him a call, see if he can help me out. I'm kind of wondering about that because there's really just one rating, right, for every business. You give the number of stars. Mm -hmm. So there isn't like a number of stars for, you know, in terms of a restaurant, like how good the actual food was, how good the service was, how good the pricing was, right? Yeah. So it's not separated out. It's kind of like an overall uh, deal. Um, with that, um, some information like you're talking about price, mm-hmm. um, you could if you look at a profile. Sometimes what you can do is when you like check in or write a review, it'll ask you some details like, is this place cheap? Is this place pricey? Is mm-hmm. it good for groups? Is it good for kids? If you can find out that information right. like ahead of time, just kind of saves you some time and helps you out. I'm gonna be going to New Orleans next week. 
So it's Nolens. Nolens. See, I don't even. I, I you gotta, thought you got to try to. Uh, I was told I went see, to. This is why I'm asking that. I went to. I went to Nolens? New Orleans uh, <laughs> years ago, and I had a tour guy said uh, it's Nolens, and you try you try to say it like as close as you can within one syllable. So it's like Nolens, Nolens, <laughs> Nolens. That's but Nolens. Like, I think uh, that's how the locals say. It. Like, because if you go like, New Orleans, you're like, right. oh my god, this guy is not from here. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think it's going to be very clear that I'm not from there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's going to be much of a question. I think it's clear that you're not from here. <laughs> what? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like large scale here from like another planet or something. Wow. What did I, I what did I do to what did I do to you now? I haven't seen you in a while. I have oh, to oh, give yeah. you all of the uh, it's, been it's building. pent up aggression. <laughs> All right, so I so what I'm wondering. So you're going to New Orleans. Yeah. So what should I do? Should I go up to the little thing and just type in? Yeah. So what what I do if you're on the site, like up at the top, there's your yeah. search bar, and then there's like your location. So like yep. near. Okay. So let's say you're gonna go. You're going to New Orleans. So like, you can type in New Orleans. Okay. And search that. What that will do then is when you make uh, searches for the different businesses, it'll show up in your search results. Okay. Right. So this is kind of good because you could do some planning ahead of time if you want yeah. to well, i want to yeah so like um, let's do that right now so uh like getting like seafood right okay so let's type in like seafood let's see what will come up okay a couple of ads at the top are there always two ads or is uh, that there's the usually, most yeah okay yeah, if that's the most yeah okay Just that wondering. i noticed so yeah. so let's, oh, and then there's a few on the side. so and the reason why i told you to search seafood because when you have a yelp business listing you can have mm-hmm. categories on there and oh, businesses sure. i believe it's three uh, categories you can have so we just search businesses that probably had that category or had that word in their reviews. So a common word that was used in reviews. So like, what's the first? What's the first thing that pops up? Let's see if it's something good. Well, the first yeah. n- non-ad is Acme Oyster House. Yeah, Ac- Acme Oyster House, and and it so it shows wow. that their seafood. It shows their pr- you know the, it shows number of dollar signs for pricing. Yep, they have thirty five hundred forty seven reviews, which is that's a lot bananas and and a four star <laughs> review, right? Yeah. So pro- there's probably a reason why it's probably pretty good. Yeah, there's probably a reason why <laughs> it's one of the it's the first result right there, right? Right. And obviously that's ways to catch your attention when you want to check out a place that you don't know, especially when you're traveling. How do you know where to go? Part of how I would know where to around. go. Yeah. So this is in the Central <laughs> Business District, which is where the convention is, uh, I think. Oh. That would be great, but it'll probably be really busy. True. So I kind of like mm-hmm. that it's sh- that it, I, I didn't, I didn't notice with Green Bay if it breaks it out into, into neighborhoods or anything. Uh, uh, no, not really. It doesn't, well, they don't need to yet, but, uh, it, you know, in Nalan. Nalan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like that it's that it is broken out there, yeah. so I can. Uh, I don't know if I can sort by that, but uh, that's. Well, there is oh, a yeah, uh, search. Filters, the, filters, yeah, yeah, there's there's filters with search functions, so you can sure. look for restaurants that are more pricey yeah. uh, within a certain distance. What else is there? So, who makes the, these the price determination? Do customers make that, or do? Yep. They, okay. It's, it's it's all the people that are using the site that are writing those reviews, checking in, you know, and all that. So stuff. it's not like a hard and fast under ten dollars under fifteen dollars it's what you so i guess like seafood would be different than a burger place so a burger place you'd expect to be a little cheaper yeah right so that would it vary part. it yeah. varies because mm-hmm. of, okay yeah yeah and, and and depending on you know if if you like a pricey meal or something cheaper right. i mean that's totally okay and you can filter those results and what's also cool too what i'd recommend and this is great for traveling let's say you're checking out some places in advance if you go to the page the yelp page You'll see near the top, like write a review and what's the other option? Maybe take a photo. I can't remember. But one of the options is bookmark. And that's always cool to do. So you can bookmark a business and then you'll have a bookmark section on your profile. And then that's a great way to see businesses that you do want to check out, places you do want to go. Boom. Bookmarked Acme. Yeah. So you just bookmarked it. So when you go and you're like, okay, what was that place again? You could go to your pro, like say like you have your phone. You got the app, you mm-hmm. open it up, go to the bookmark section, and you can see all those oh, nice. uh, places that you want to check out, which is really helpful. I even do that for, there are places in Green Bay that I haven't even been to yet. I bookmark some of them because I'm like, okay, sometime I'm going some to try to, check yeah, I want to go and check out this place. You mentioned earlier that most of the people that use Yelp, uh, at least around here, right, they're using it because they're traveling to here. 
and part of your job is to give some balance to that and get some more local stuff. Yeah. And you mentioned events and you mentioned that you're helping some businesses. How has that been going? And, and are, do you feel like, have you made some inroads in that way? I feel like I'm still really new to the job. Well, you just, so, when did you start? Beginning of March. Yeah. And it's like just, the, it's May it's the May. 4th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so I feel like I'm still pretty new into it. Yeah. I have run into some people like Yelp users that already been using it and they totally get it. Right. And then I will send a message to some people and go, Hey, my name is Scott. I'm the community ambassador. Just letting you know, I'm here. Uh, I think you're writing some great reviews. If you got any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. And some people are like, who is this guy? What is going on here? And yeah. so I've done more interaction with Yelp users online, you know, through messaging and stuff like that. Do you seek out people that are, that are leaving really like overly positive reviews or overly negative reviews or like, how do you approach that? It's, it's all reviews. I will block off parts of my day, like an hour or two really a week mm -hmm. and just kind of look through reviews and see what catches my attention. Sometimes what I do is when I go to write a review, I write it and then I just like, oh, this is neat review. And then I just, it just kind of like organically happens. I, it, it, like, it's not like I'm going to look at this person's profile. It just like, I just kind of run into mm -hmm. it and then I keep track of it. And, uh, and I, I don't know if it was on your profile, but there's uh, a thing where think, I, somehow I think reviews can be marked as useful, funny, cool. Yeah. What's that all about? Yeah. So UFCs is a great short term of saying it, but UFC. yeah. So like a lot of other social sites, Twitter, you can retweet, uh, you know, Instagram, you can kind of do the same mm -hmm. thing. With Yelp, the three options are useful, funny, and cool. Basically, I will read a review and it's like, what did I think of that review? A lot of times they're useful, you know, especially mm -hmm. if it's a place I've never been to before. Oh, that's really good to know. This is uh, something good to try or, oh, I better not try that. Sometimes people just like, maybe they're a little more generic, like this place is awesome, dude, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, cool. Once in a while, sometimes people are really funny. It all depends on how you want to write. Some people are a little more serious than others. Sometimes I think I'm clever and I want to write in something funny. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't get many. Like my joke about you not being from here. Well, yeah. I see that. I thought that would be funny. It funny. was. It was funny. But it but wasn't. I, but I, but I, you know, it, that, that was a little give back. I had to take. I had to take you down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so people can say, oh, I, I thought that was kind of funny. Right. Like they made some joke or just kind of witty remark. Um, I'm trying to think of if I said something funny one time. Or what, what if I, I said to... something funny one time, yeah, you're never funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at your review here for the General Mitchell International Airport. You know, there's really just the one airport around there. What would be the point in, in reviewing it? In Milwaukee? Yeah. So uh, that's actually a really great question because uh, I was recently there when I flew mm -hmm. out. I like to say I'm directionally challenged sometimes. And airports can be super busy mm -hmm. and you got all these different gates and different numbers and all this stuff going on. And sometimes they're hard to get around. Right. And I obviously not like the one in Green Bay or anything, you know, the but best one, yeah, the best one, <laughs> five stars. And actually, so I was going to be gone. Uh, in my, this, I said this in my review. I was going to be gone for a few days. So I had to park it, my car there in the parking lot. And once again, this is a parking ramp that has several floors. And I'm like, I'm just going to go on the first floor if I can. Found out that to get to the terminal, you had to get to the third floor. Well, that was easy, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, exactly where do I go? They have uh, in the parking garage just a gold, <laughs> kind of like follow yellow brick road, yeah, I, yeah. A, a gold painted lines. Sure, I remember uh, that. Yeah, yeah, on the ground. And, mm -hmm. and they're across and, and they have some arrows. It's like two terminal. And I literally just... You know, when I saw my car, I go, okay, what color and num letter? Like, I seriously. What color is my car? <laughs> they have like sections. Like, it was like I was near like blue eye right. or whatever. Yeah. So I, I, you know, remember that. And I, and I just kind of followed the, the yellow brick road, yellow nice. painted road. It was just super easy. Mm -hmm. And it, I actually got there within an hour of my flight, which is not always the best idea because sometimes to get through security and stuff can take a long time. And that was another thing. It was really easy to get through security there and stuff. So once again, kind of going back to not talking about 
you so know, that's, restaurants. So and that's stuff. how they got the elusive four star review from you. Yeah. It's by having something that you felt was a little bit innovative. It, it, it helped me out. It really did. And uh, if you look, I even got a response I, from. It, right. Um, I was just going to say that. Yeah. Like a, a manager or something from the right. airport. And that's one thing that you can do when you claim your business for a Yelp listing. You have the option of replying to users to their reviews uh, privately or even publicly. And there's that, that comment right there. And when I saw that too, like that means a lot too as a user that the people who are part of that business right. saw that and they acknowledge you, whether it was a good review or a bad review. I, I think it's important that you acknowledge people and has something constructive to say. You know that. where they don't have that? On the app store. Right. <laughs> it's so annoying. You know, you'll get somebody that is obviously clueless. Let's say they downloaded the Yelp app and they thought that it would do cooking for them. And they're very upset. Mm. And they give it a one-star review because it doesn't do cooking for them. And that just sits at an island and goes into the, into the calculation like anything else with equal validity. And the app owner has no opportunity to argue their, their case on that. They have no opportunity to reply. Right. So does this usually work? I have never seen that before. Well, maybe you got to write some reviews. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well may, maybe. It, I mean, but, I haven't personally gotten it, but I also haven't seen it on uh, other reviews. Yeah, and it, ma- maybe I just don't but, do enough. You but but you right. know what, though? Here, here's another thing with yeah. Yelp being new to Green Bay mm-hmm. is not everyone knows about that yet. And that's right. kind of part of my job. And so some businesses are ahead of the game and they know that. And some people just don't. You know, some businesses haven't claimed their business page yet. I'll tell this story because I thought this meant a lot to me. Yeah. There was a thrift store that I reviewed. I, I like thrift shopping. I am really good at it. Like, okay. I like to call it a skill almost. <laughs> and come on, you know me. You've seen some of the costumes I come up with. I guess that's a skill. I like to think so. <laughs> Anyways, no, so I was the first review for this thrift store. Right. And I actually got a reply back from a manager from there. And I did give a good review. Nice. Uh, I, I said, like, I always find some really neat things here, blah, 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 blah. One thing, though, is their hours are kind of limited. Like, like during the week, it's during business hours that I'm at work. So the only day I can go there are Saturdays uh, for the most part. Right. And I got a reply back and they said, hey, thanks for the review. I'm glad that, you know, you find what you're looking for. Good news. We are actually extending our hours a little bit pretty soon. I go, oh. I mean, to me, that's, that, that's great. Yeah. Like, I might not have known that at all. And, and for that person to take the time just to say, like, we will be expanding our hours till this on these days and blah, blah, blah. That goes a long way. And that just, I think, can improve that experience right there. Have you had any, you're really the first community ambassador of the area. Yep. So was there anything that, uh, that for lack of a better word, needed to be cleaned up? At all? If anything, it's it's just people know about it. Yeah. But is and I could I could talk to you all day about yeah. using up how how great it is. But now it's getting people to actually use it and kind of use it on a regular basis, even if that means once or twice a week or even a couple of weeks. That's that's okay. Mm-hmm. But kind of actually getting on the site and the app. And using it, it's kind of hard to say. Like, I don't really know until maybe the person I talked to, I found, and I see that they're actually doing it. So, and, and, and I'm in the early stages of that right now. And the other thing, too, is, is like businesses knowing about it. Because we're in a smaller city, too. There's a lot of businesses that don't have a lot of reviews right now. Mm-hmm. And, and it has nothing to do with them being a bad business at all. They could be an awesome business. It's just getting people to talk about them. And that's what I'm just trying to do. And it takes a little bit, you know, it Mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen overnight. It's going to take a little while. And it's just through putting myself out there, being in the community and even coming here and talking with you. You know, I'm I'm really excited that your mom will listen to this podcast and uh, know about Yelp. (laughs) She totally doesn't though. (laughs) I think that's what Larry. She was here for one live episode. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I happen to be the Yelp administrator for Camera Corner. Oh, great. So I just logged in and this is this must be new. I've I've never seen it before, but there's an activity feed for the business owners. Mm -hmm. 
And I can see a man from Green Bay, Wisconsin, checked into your business today at 11.58. That was you. That was me. A man from Green Bay got directions to your business earlier today. A man yep. from San Diego clicked that to call me. your business on April 23rd. Oh. A woman from Nina Wasn't wrote me. a review. This is actually really cool. A man yeah. in his 20s from Green Bay clicked to visit your website. Like, that's really good information for a marketer to have. And, and just so people know, for those who are just Yelpers using yeah. it, you didn't know that was me. You only knew it was me because, well, I'm here doing this Right, interview. Right, yeah. You have the options of selecting in your settings what information businesses can see. There's no reason for a business to know my name, but for them to know that I'm a male in my late 20s mm -hmm. is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Or where I'm from, too, because that's another thing. Who are the people that are checking out your Yelp page? Is it people from your community or is it people sure. that are traveling right. and stuff? So. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing everything from a Yelp user did this to a Yelp user in his 40s from Wauwatosa did this. So that's kind of cool to, to see... You know, a little bit of difference because as marketers, we do spend a lot of time and money trying to hit certain demographics. And, you know, how do you know if you're hitting them? This is actually a really good way of seeing that. Yeah. And, and it's it's a really nice free tool right. for you to get that information and, and to know how, how people are finding out about you through Yelp and what and what they're doing. Do people just use their phone, just talk to Siri or talk to Google and say... Can you show me reviews of things? And does that sidestep Yelp at all? What's your reaction to that? Well, if you use like specifically like the word reviews in a Google search, it'll probably bring up re different review sites. Yeah. But like, honestly, say you're not from the area and you, like you're going to New Orleans and you type in seafood restaurant. I right. guarantee you one of the top searches would be a Yelp link or even you could search a specific business. So what was the right. name of that business? Acme Oyster House. Like so that, you yeah. could search that and I wouldn't be surprised on that first page on that on that Google search, you will see a link to their Yelp page. Yeah, actually. So acmeoyster.com is their main website. Yep. And then That's a good thing. right below it is Yelp. Yep. How about that? Yeah, you know, pretty good. And yeah, and I typed in Green Bay restaurant reviews into Google and Yelp was right up there, too. Yeah. So. Most of the people listening would be thinking, how can I use this to promote my business? Yeah. And so do you think that it, it is a good way to do that? Like, it's not a waste of their time. They, you know, there's only so many, even if it's free, there's only so many hours in the day to dedicate to, oh, I have to do a tweet and I have to do a Facebook mm -hmm. and I have to do an Instagram. And now you're telling me I got to do the Yelp. Why should I, why should I find time to do that? Yeah. Well, Yelp is a great resource for trusted and reliable reviews that are actually informative and helpful. I check out some other sites that you can review. There's tons of different sites you do, but a lot of times I just see this place is great. I had a good time, great food. And I, I just don't see those really helpful, informative reviews on those sites com compared to Yelp. And I think the other thing too is like you're checking out a business. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's photos on there. I mean, People post their own photos and stuff like that. I mean, you have some control to to put the correct information on there, right? And it gives you a chance to, you can't control what people are saying. It's just how it is, right? But you can respond. Mm -hmm. Respond to people on how their experience was and you can react to it. And at least, you know, whether it was good or bad, but just somehow letting people know that you're aware. And that's, I think that goes a long way. And this is not a site you always have to be on every day, but I think it's really important because it's reliable source for this kind of information for people to find out about your business. Not from just you, you know, like on your website, you could say all the best things about you on your website. But once again, I kind of said power of mouth. Is that what I want to say? Power. The power of mouth. Power of mouth. No, that's not what I want to say. I, th I think we need to start having show titles and that's what this is going to be. The power <laughs> of work. mouth. But um, it's, it's just... <laughs> When you see reviews from other consumers, that goes a long way. The, you see what their experiences were like, and I don't know, for some reason, we, we trust people. If you told me this place was good, I'm going to trust you because I know you, for the most part, like you. So I can attest to, to what you said there, too, though, about it not being a huge commitment for the business owner, because as the manager, 
<laughs> you haven't done anything? I haven't really <laughs> done much. I went on and I set the hours and I I kind of did a copy paste from mm-hmm. our About Us page mm-hmm. and put it into into the site. And, you know, every six months or so I get an email that there's a new review and I kind of don't really do much otherwise. But now that I yeah. logged in and looked at it, it it's kind of worth looking at once in a while. Yeah. You know, when I'm going to look at a marketing budget or something, I take a look at what's happening out there. Yeah, you can find that information and say, yeah. hey, well, this is what's happening. And I just had the page text me. I didn't install it yet, but apparently there's an app for business owners I didn't even know about. Yes. So yeah. I'm, I didn't know that either. I am yeah. now I that new? a link. Uh, it's fairly, fairly new, been around longer than I have. But <laughs> okay. install. Um, yeah, okay. so for those who have smartphones and everything, if you go to the Google's Play Store or the iTunes Store, uh, you just search Yelp. You can download that app. If you're a business owner, it's a separate app, and it's just called Yelp for Business Owners. And it's a separate login, and you get basically all that same information uh, that you can on the site for the most part, and you get notifications. It's really helpful because we're all on the go all the time, and people are using their phones more and more and more. What's great about having the phones is people can take pictures right away of they have this awesome burger or whatever you know take a picture of it put it on yelp man and then i saw that go that looks good i want one of those a few f- fast questions and then we're out okay what's your favorite place in green bay your favorite restaurant favorite restaurant oh you're putting i can look at your reviews and yeah, figure it out so it's not like it's a secret what, what's a place i love going to eat man oh you're putting me on okay what, what's your favorite category like what's your favorite like food when you when you're out and about I can always go for a burger. Okay. I love a burger. Actually, I, I'll mention a place that I went to yesterday, uh, the other day. Hilltop Cafe. It's out on Bay Settlement Drive. Okay, So sure. over by UWGB. It's connected to a like gas station. But man, they make a really good burger. And it was, it was weird because the, all the people were there were kind of like truckers, college kids, and like like older locals, sure. you know, from the area. That's what's and out there. I went there, <laughs> yeah. I, I went there, uh, well, you know, like 5.30 in the evening and there's a good number of people there. And right. I got... Uh, but no one like you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, no one can be like me, right? But, you know, they got a lot of different kinds of burgers, but I just got their simple cheeseburger combo meal. So it's just cheeseburger, fries, and a soda. And it was five bucks. And it was great, you know? It was just yeah. like, wow, like, why don't I go here more often? But I, I do like a good burger. Um, All right. What's your favorite bar? And that might be a different answer from what's the bar you're at the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, right, right, right now, um, a bar I, I like going to is Rum Runners. That's one I've been going to a lot lately. With Green Bay, too, I say we're spoiled. We have five different breweries. Right. You know, soon to be six. Right. Ah! One that I love going to is Still Mink is a fun one. It, it's kind of on my way uh, home from work yeah. but i love going there on wednesdays because it's wisco wednesdays that's one of their beers the wisco disco and you could get a pint for two dollars on wednesdays i'm like oh, love it and it's perfect but yeah. just one well, well not if uh <laughs> not if someone has something to say about it right <laughs> isn't that isn't that changing soon zim wants oh to... that's right oh yeah yeah we'll talk uh, about that on the other show ooh, i'm sure ooh, that's, that's another that, episode that, that, that's that i won't be involved okay with. uh all right and because you're now a world traveler Tell me some place that was surprisingly awesome outside of our area here. Outside of our area. Restaurant, whatever. I also love Rum Runners, by the way. Yeah, I do. Yeah. A unique experience, something different. I was in San Francisco a few weeks ago, and they have a place called Sushi Rito. It's sushi, but they roll it up like it's the size of like a, burrito. a burrito. Okay. You know, it's, it's big, and it's like eight, ten bucks or something like that. It was all right. It was cool. I think I'd rather get sushi in the Regular little pieces sushi. and stuff. Something unique. And did that did that did that get a four star? Mm, I think I gave that three. My sushi rito had coleslaw in it, and I like coleslaw. Maybe it was just a little too much for me. It was yeah. still good. <laughs> One final question for you: Who should I get on here next? Perhaps you could co-host. So you're over here oh. on this side of the table. Who would you like our victim to be? Um, do you know, I don't have to necessarily know them if you know them and you oh. co-host. Yeah. That's kind of the hope is that we're, we're expanding oh, don't know. the guests to more than just Doesn't people matter. Elliot knows. Green Bay small. 
we, you know, there's so much overlap. It's terrible. Well, I, I, <laughs> you know, I will say this, especially with craft beer week kind of coming up. It, it might be, I don't know how much time you have, but it's pretty cool the different local breweries that we have and kind of getting an idea from those brewers how they view beer, what they think about beer and, and why they're doing is I think always interesting because I've gotten to know some, some of the, the brewers kind of well. I guess I don't have a person offhand, but I think with something that's always fun to talk about, that's kind of a Wisconsin tradition, are supper clubs. The tradition, the, the history, what's unique about supper clubs? I mean, like, I don't... I love supper clubs. Going I mean, for a fish fry? I mean, you are the Yelp guy. Yeah. So... Uh, I think you'd ha- <laughs> you have to find someone. Okay. Like that's your job. Okay. Or you're gonna yeah, but that would be great. So my job to line that up. So I do have these two other podcasts. One is called Green Bay Newsmakers, GreenBayNewsmakers.com, and I am looking for entrepreneurs to be on there. Um, entrepreneurs. Tony Oshis from the Libertine and Proof, which is his newest. Uh, I'd love to have him on. Uh, craft cocktail bar in De Pere. We can talk about his beard. Uh, yeah, he's got a. <laughs> awesome beard. He's got a really good view on how to make cocktails and about the cocktails. They've had events talking about whiskeys, for example, and we'll talk about the history of the whiskey, the reason why it tastes what it That'd does, amazing, and different yeah. way. He's a source of knowledge when it comes to that stuff. And it's pretty cool because he started with the Libertine downtown Green Bay and was able to do well enough and open a new, a similar kind of business down in De Pere. So that would be a great option too. I would love to have him on. And then we have this other podcast, which has had some crazy amount of interest, and that's called Political Radar. That's at politicalradar.com. We were talking about how everyone knows everybody in this town. Yeah, right. And so we have to be really aware of that. But that's actually something we're going to talk about, how it's okay to criticize people, even though we know them. But I think that'll be kind of interesting. Can't we all be friends? Well, or, or... tolerate each other we don't have to all be friends but you know like just because i think we don't need to spend millions of dollars on an olympic swimming pool doesn't mean that i can't respect everything else about what somebody does right so that's my little plug for that thank you scott for coming i appreciate thank it thank you for inviting and me I, and i i very much appreciate it but at least oh yeah knowledge. i didn't, I didn't even mention that you brought a little gift bag oh i did so yeah. there's Super awesome little gloves that say Yelp on them. Yelp Life. There's look at like, look at the other side. Oh my god, they're Yelp, fingerless. They're Yelp fing- Life fingerless yeah. gloves. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Which I, I got one too. So which he are, gets which bonus are, points. Yeah. Right. Which are super awesome. And there's a uh, like uh, hand cleaner stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hand sanitizer. And uh, you knew I needed this. Yep. Bottle opener. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. So how would somebody get in contact with you, Scott, if they are wanting to engage you for some assistance with their business with Yelp or they want to follow you. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you ever want to go to Yelp and look for me, yelp.com slash green hyphen bay, you'll probably find me some way through there. But I'm totally good with email. And that would just be green bay at yelp.com. Oh, and I'm on oh. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Yelp Green Bay. So that those are ways to get contact me too, I guess. So You're Mr. Green Bay. I guess so. Or what did, what did you okay. say in your profile? Mr. Jeebs? Oh, Mr. Jeebs. It's a <laughs> kind of an inside joke, yeah, but yeah. you like that? It, I, I think it's great Yeah, because you are. Yes. And you're totally fitting for that. As soon as I heard that you were announced to be in there, I think I told you that. I'm like, you are perfect for this job. Thank you. Thanks it's, for doing it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. For sure. Thanks for being on. That's it. We're out. Don't forget to run over to iTunes and Stitcher and give a rating and review of the show. It helps other people find us. Cheers.